Hello everyone, this is going to be a demo video of the Comet 3X running Sunny Pilot on the highway. You can see right now we're on Interstate 25 going north, just past Radium Springs, New Mexico. We're leaving Las Cruces. But yeah, this is going to be a demo video showing you how to use the Comet 3X and Sunny Pilot on the highway. Right now it's fully engaged with both Smart Cruise Control and the Comet 3X controlling the steering. You can see the highlight around the device is green. That means the Comet 3X is controlling the steering and your vehicle is controlling the smart cruise control and in this mode here you have several options one of its auto lane change we're coming up on a car that's going a little bit slower up the hill and the comet 3x estimates the distance to the car and the relative speed even without the radar but anyways you just signal to do a lane change and then you steer left or right to confirm so you nudge the wheel to confirm you have to nudge the wheel a little bit and then it makes that lane change and now it sees the edge of the road. So another feature that the Comma 3X has for auto lane changes is it can detect the edge of the road. So over here on the left, it sees the shoulder. And if we do the auto lane change, we do a signal, it will chime out. And it says lane change unavailable, road edge. So it detects the road edge. That's very helpful when you're on city streets or even on the highway here when you have a shoulder and you accidentally signal. And if you nudge the wheel, it won't turn you off the road or anything. And that also works in the city. There's also a separate setting that you can uh, adjust. Right now, the default is under 20 miles per hour or 30 kilometers an hour. It will not do a lane change, and that's meant to give you full control if you, when you're doing a full right turn, turning off a road, or at an intersection, or whatever. So if you, do a, if you signal below 20 miles per hour, then the system disengages and gives you full control of the steering. So anyways, that's enabled right now. Let's uh, disable the, uh, the smart cruise control. And the vehicle chimes because I use iPedal. I'm driving here in the Kia EV6 electric vehicle. has one pedal driving, so that's why it chimed. But you can see around the device here, we have a cyan highlight, which means the Comet 3X is only controlling the steering. And this is a key differentiator of Sunny Pilot versus Stock Open Pilot. Sunny Pilot has something called MADS, MADS, Modified Assisted Driving Safety, which means that the Sunny Pilot software it allows it to control just the steering and you can control the acceleration and the foot pedaling manually. So once they pass this car here, but this is great for driving here when there's more traffic on the roads or city driving especially, or even driving on a two lane highway where you need to adjust your speed and you don't have to fiddle with adjusting this cruise control speed. You can just do full manual driving with the accelerator pedal and, and brake pedal too if you don't have one pedal driving. And that's a great feature of Sunny Pilot. I think that's invaluable because it, it's really helpful for city driving especially. And the Comma 3X will just control the steering. This is essentially what the stock Hyundai Kia system is, or the functionality it allows. Because the stock Hyundai Kia system also allows you to control just the steering independently, auto lane centering and lane, lane follow assist, I believe it's called, separately from smart cruise control. And Stock Open Pilot does not allow you to do that. It, it requires you to use both the Smart Cruise Control and the Comma 3X for the steering. We're coming up on the Border Patrol exit right here. And it's an important thing to note also is the Comma 3X will only look at lane lines. It does not detect orange barrels. So you still do have to grab the wheel and signal. But otherwise, the Comma 3X, it follows the road, follows the lane lines. It works on paved roads, unpaved roads, even dirt roads or roads without lane markings. It just follows the road, but obviously in that case, you do have to take control more and nudge the wheel because if there are no lane lines or if you're on a dirt road, it tends to stay towards the center of the road, which means if there's oncoming traffic, you could hit it. And another quick thing is that if you need to take control to nudge the wheel, you just nudge the wheel. The Comma 3X, the highlight goes to gray, which means it gives you full control. If you need to nudge the wheel, just like I did here, to take an exit to avoid an object, to nudge yourself to the left or to the right, if you see a car getting a little too close or anything like that, it works just fine. And then as we exit the Border Patrol checkpoint, here is another demo of how you just get onto the highway. You don't really need to signal, especially if it just doesn't have a merge lane. So it'll force you in here and it turns the wheel so it makes sure that you stay in the lane. But that's pretty much it. And of course, if there's a longer merging lane, you can signal and nudge the wheel and it'll move over just like I've shown you earlier in the video. Also another thing to note, and a very important differentiator of the Comma 3X compared to the stock Hyundai Kia system, is that it has a driver monitoring camera, which you see highlighted right there. And it makes sure you're looking at the road and paying attention. 
and for the most part you can actually go totally hands-free of course you still have to pay attention you still have to be aware and ready to take control at any moment in case you see an object in the road or a vehicle that's drifting too far to one lane or anything like that but yeah it's a driver monitoring camera monitors where you're looking to make sure you're paying attention and otherwise you can go hands-free so that's a very important differentiator over most other vehicles driver assistance systems and lane follow assistance systems including the stock Hyundai Kia system does not have a camera anywhere in the vehicle so it requires you to nudge the wheel all the time so it's so much nicer here with comma 3x and because you don't have to have your hands on the wheel that much it actually makes drives feel half as long it's less fatigue on the drives because you don't have to always nudge the wheel and have to micromanage the wheel the comma 3x does most of that for you of course you still do have to pay attention but it is a real game changer in terms of ADAS safety. And so far, there aren't really any first party automaker solutions that work on every road that include the driver monitoring cameras. Because I know GM Super Cruise only works on mapped highways, whereas the Comma 3X, it'll work on any road basically, even dirt roads or roads without any lane markings, it'll work even on those roads as well. So it works basically on any road surface I can see. I mean, even parking lot roads, although I would not <laughs> recommend you do it in uh, parking lot roads or anything like that. But yeah, that's another important differentiator of the Comma 3X. And now back to the main part of the test. But yeah, that's going to be it for this highway demo of the Comma 3X. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to get subscribed and check out other videos here on my channel. I have a bunch more Comma 3X driving videos and also some EV6 road trips. And I'm also starting a series of Comma 3X Challenge videos. The first one was posted over a month ago. Go take a look at that. It's the Emory Pass Challenge, taking the Comma 3X down a very twisty two-lane mountain road where the stock Kia system would just cancel out. But the Comma 3X did pretty good. And I'm also going to have two future videos coming soon to the series, including the Los Alamos Challenge, which will be taking the Comma 3X up a twisty, divided highway up to Los Alamos, New Mexico. And I'll be using the steering mode only like you see it doing right now in the side and highlights so I'll be controlling the speed around that twisty curve and the Comma 3X will be doing just the steering and also have the Raton Pass coming soon that's going to be taking the Comma 3X up a less challenging but still twisty mountain road further up here on Interstate 25 of the northern part of our state it's the Raton Pass between New Mexico and Colorado and that's going to be testing the Comma 3X to see how it does when I also engage smart cruise control which you see is engaged right now. But anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. And again, please get subscribed so you don't miss out on any more videos. Thanks for watching, everyone.